so now we'll be seeing uh, digital modulation techniques and different multiple access techniques that is there in our syllabus so basically we have already studied uh, three basic modulation schemes that is am pm fm means to say amplitude modulation frequency modulation phase modulation but those were analog modulation schemes okay what is analog modulation schemes if i am changing the characteristics of my carrier wave with respect to my message signal the message signal is here in the analog form okay so those type of modulations are called as analog modulation digital modulation is on the other hand is your message will be in digital form basically means to say ones and zeros okay bits so if i have modulation of my digital data then those modulations are called as digital modulations similar to our analog modulation basically we'll be having three types of modulations here one is amplitude shift keying which is similar to amplitude modulation frequency shift keying similar to frequency modulation and phase shift keying which is similar to frequency uh, phase modulation so seeing amplitude shift keying what i can say is here the blue line indicates your digital data okay you can think of 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 okay and the green sinusoidal wave is your carrier wave so what we do in amplitude shift keying is basically whenever i have bit 1 i have a carrier signal being turned on and whenever i have bit 0 the carrier signal will be turned off so basically i'll be having one single carrier of some frequency and some phase and whenever i have a bit 1 the signal will be turned on or the modulator will be activated and whenever i have bit 0 the modulator will be turned off so that you will be having a zero signal being passed or a dc signal being passed so this is simple amplitude shift keying so at the receiving end what we do is whenever there is a sinusoidal wave i'll be getting a bit 1 and whenever there is a si uh, dc line or a uh, dc signal i'll be taking it as bit 0 okay so this is simple amplitude shift keying coming to frequency shift keying as you can see here i'll be having two carrier signal one is carrier f1 or frequency say 5 kilohertz and carrier f2 which is of frequency 10 kilohertz so what we do here is basically whenever i have bit 0 i'll be transmitting a lower frequency wave and whenever i have bit 1 i'll be transmitting a higher frequency wave and which you can see here as as there you have bit 0 you have lower frequency signal and wherever you have bit 1 you have high frequency signal so this is frequency modulation of digital data okay so coming to the last part it is phase shift keying basically here phase of the signal will be changed means to say whenever i have bit 1 or logic 1 i'll be using a signal of 0 degree phase shift as you can see here it is starting at 0 and whenever i have a logic 0 or bit 0 i'll be taking a signal which is 180 degree out of phase so it is starting at 180 degree out of phase okay so this is a phase shift where you can see wherever there is 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 you have a phase shift from uh, 0 to 180 degree and 180 to 0 okay so this is the three basic uh, modulation schemes digital modulation schemes that we have and the next thing is you have already learned about multiplexing so multiplexing is like many users data will be Uh, combined to one single channel and that will be transmitted through that channel so with the help of multiplexing how do i transmit data of multiple user this is what multiple access techniques are all about so basically there are three techniques which we have to see today one is time division multiplexing second one is frequency division multiplexing or frequency division multiple access we call it as and phase i mean score division multiple access so these are the three the things that we have to see today so what is tdm a so basically you can see here 
I have a graph of frequency versus time and you can see each user have been uh, designated with different color and you can see here those different colors are having some slice what is this each user will be given a specific amount of time to transmit his information over that particular amount of frequency okay to make it simple it is something like this I am the questioner here so I am asking question 2 4 of my students so say for example there is Kunal Kumar Harshit and uh, Anika okay there are four students in my class I am asking questions to each of them in general and each one of them are given two minutes two minutes two minutes of time to answer it so that is simple time division multiplexing two minutes is a time slot given for each user to use the channel channel here is the classroom whatever they want to answer they can answer in that two minutes and after the two minutes the second user will be taking opportunity say for example here I given two minutes for Kunal Kunal answers is answer in two minutes and the particular option will be our or the next after that two minutes the second user say for example Harshit will be getting the opportunity to answer so each user is given with two minutes of time so this is time division multiplexing you can see that each user is given with designated amount of time interval whereas the second technique is frequency division multiplexing here it is something like all users are given opportunity to take the complete time so you can see in a time time is not divided their time was divided but here time is not divided what is divided frequency is divided frequency division multiplexing the division of frequency okay means to say here you can see each user the sine wave whatever you are seeing here is a different frequency means to say each user are operating at different frequency at same time it is something like what you do in class if I ask a question all of you will try to answer at the same time something like that you can you can think of but here all of them are answering but at different frequencies they are answering so some might be at lower frequency some might be at higher frequency so this is something like that frequency division multiplexing everyone will be using the channel but the channel is split into different frequencies okay keep that in mind so last part is code division multiplexing basically the code division multiplexing is like they'll be using the complete frequency the complete time only thing is each user is given a separate code to transfer so you can see the leftmost graph is TDM graph or FDM graph what is it give a guess see they are using the complete time but what is divided frequency is divided hence it is frequency division multiplexing graph here see the frequency is divided but still if you see in a frequency the time is divided time 1 time 2 time 3 so this is if you see from the left hand side it is just time division multiplexing okay if you see from the right hand side that is from this side it is frequency division multiplexing so both frequency and time is divided so this is what is used in my 2G cell phones or second generation cell phones like Airtel will be operating at 9 10 megahertz Vodafone will be operating at 9 or 1000 some megahertz uh, BSNL was operating at 850 megahertz something like that they had different channels and each channel was divided into different time slots so each user can take different time slots something like that whereas code division multiplexing the Reliance Dhirubhai Ambani the beginning CDMA handsets whatever we had this handsets used code division multiplexes wherein the whole time and whole frequency was that means the complete bandwidth was used it is more efficient and each user was given a separate code a unique code okay using that code used to uh, transmit the data and the receiver used to use that code to get back that particular user's information so 
that is code division multiple access so if you want to know more about this multiple access techniques i'll be linking a video at the end of this video okay you can go through that small video of 5 minutes and that video is much more interesting so all the best thanks for listening so to end don't limit your challenges challenges are your limits okay be challenging take the challenges all the best